All right, so welcome to a long drive. I got errors there with the thing. Um, yeah, we're back here at the bus. I got my random mirror collection going. Random gun collection. Got me a shovel, a sword, some spray cans full of shit. Ammunition, pellets. I actually got some empty fuel. Okay, let's go see here. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can find anything at this depot here. It's been a while since I played this. We got our uh, bumper. We'll just throw that over there. That's a nice tire. What are you, empty? The seltzer bottles don't do anything. What's, what's all in this mess? We'll just move that in there. Go away. Go away. Ugh, I can't get this out of my way. Well, there's one way to get this moved. That is to sit in here and sit there and then to get out. Alright, perfect. All right, so let's not quite what I wanted to do, but okay. This is where I die from glitching physics. Ooh, got one of those. Yeah, we'll take that. What are you? Oil? Yeah, we'll take some of that. Oh yeah, I got my stylish hat on. Empty. Uh oh. Physics got wonky there. Oh, another thing of oil. I'll take that. Another thing. Wow, that one's full. Here's what I think of that alcohol. I am actually rather uh, inebriated right now, but that's that's fine, right? I take the hubcap off. That's a nice tire. That's a really nice tire. Nice room and everything. Oh, can you get? Can we? Get, can we get you on on this on this rim? Okay, let's crouch. Oh yeah, that's why I got that junk on there. Hey, that's just way better. <clears throat> I like how we're kind of just like staring this crap. Oh, I guess I'm I'm kicked onto that now. Okay, well I guess I can. I'm missing a wheel over here. I am missing a, a wheel. Well, let's go ahead and 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 push. Ah, drop you. And then we'll steer ourselves a little bit out of the way here. There we go. There we go. Now we got room to work. All right, so uh, another. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Coil up, and then we'll drop it. Yeah, perfect. I oh, hear bunnies. All right, so I got ourselves another plastic bucket. Oh, it's nighttime. I'll have to go ahead and sleep here in a second because I want to not do this while it's nighttime. How about we just I like how my hand is like all like hurt looking there? Yeah, that's fine. Well, what do you say we uh, figure out what to do with these oil cans that we got? 
Uh, so which one's full? 1.8, 2.9 liters. All right, well, let's... I forget what my engine status is here on this thing, so let's go ahead and turn on some lights. Oh, geez, I gotta... All right, so that's that. Now I can see what I'm doing. All right, so now I'm stuck. Hey, coolant's full. Hey, buddy. What are you? Of course, you're mostly empty. Well, not mostly. It's only down like 0.7 liters. So let's go ahead and take this mostly full can of stuff and put it right there on that guy. Yeah, buddy. All right, perfect. So now I got all. Well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tank up with this. It's like, why waste time with the stuff I got on hand when I can just use this? Glad I didn't uh, <laughs> open it up yet. I'm surprised they give you the option to even like open this junk up. Oh yeah, I gotta use that button. E. And then I gotta go pour. Alright, so now we'll go like that. We'll close that. We'll put you here. 10 liters. Alright, close. And then we'll go like this. Actually we're gonna go, we're gonna we're gonna do something a little different here. How much I got? Three liters. Ooh, your oil, your auto saving, three liters, three liters. This thing burns oil like I I can't even begin to describe how how silly it burns oil. Okay, let's go ahead and fill you up. Yeah, buddy. All right, so I got an empty can here. I don't care about. Away with you. Now there was another can that was over here. Oh, you're spray paint. Okay, that's cool. I don't need you, though. Oh, where is my... Where is that jerry can that I had that had some oil in it? You all saw that, right? Alcohol. Empty. I got a Commodore 64 here. I remember, I remember messing around with Commodore 64 back in the day. Oh, diesel. Hey, that's like, you know, that's, what, 500 feet worth of travel time there. Alright, so we'll go open you. Yep, that's done. <laughs> Here, you can go in that trunk. I kind of wish the trunks were... were like the, 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 uh, what is it? I'm losing my train of thought here. Uh, what do we got? Oh, hell yeah. Bunch of oil. We should probably turn the uh, character hands off because it's just so freaking trippy. Well, what I do there? Oh, that's just silly of me. And close. I lost a liter of oil doing that. Did I close you? I did. I've messed that up before. Alright, well I need I need a little bit of oil and then they're fine. Oh, I don't need to open up the container I got, but it's fine. It's whatever. Wow, 3.3 .3 liters of oil. I got, oh, well, let's just do this. I mean, I could just switch the containers out, but this one's just sitting here already. All right, there we go. Apparently there's an update to the game coming. The developer, which I think is a one man show, which is the best, the best games ever. Is that, 
Oh, damn, look at all that oil. Yeah, it can go away. Where are you? Empty, empty. I can't see nothing. Gas, which I don't care about. Water. Oil. Who puts oil in the radiator? That's goofball. I just yeeted something off in the nowhereville. I'm not going to try to fix that car up. I mean, I, I think I got the tires and stuff. I could do it, but I just don't feel like it doing it right now. Go over there. Nope, not that guy. Okay. I gotta say, Eastern European games are actually really fun. There's a couple that I've played. Um, anything by CD Projekt Red, that's 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 pretty much a given. Um, so I played a little bit of The Witcher. That was fun. Kind of hard to get into it because I'm used to Skyrim lore, and it's hard getting into other lore when you're. Uh, what are you? What is this? Gas. You know, I'm tempted to go ahead and just say, screw it, let's, um... You know, we'll, we'll bring it, we'll bring a can of gas. It's fine. It's fine. I think I know where to put it. I'll put it with this other other can that I picked up. Oh yeah. Ah, go away. Oh yeah, middle mouse button, your scroll wheel is what you use to do that. So let's let's pick you up and shovel you that way, and then we'll pick you up and we'll. Shovel. Well, this game is a lot of inventory management. Really, when you think about it. I got empty cans. Well, shoot. There is a container full of stuff in here. I should probably go grab some more oil. This guy. Yeah, come here. Come here. you got all sorts of goodies. You're going to help us out. Make sure my engine doesn't starve itself of oil and break itself down. Because that would be bad, you know. I guess there's like some sort of mechanic about how fast a container fills up. It's almost like the capacitor theory where it takes a certain number of time periods for a capacitor to fill up. Well, don't quit banging it. Oh, it's night daytime already. Well, I guess that's kind of a thing. Alright, more oil. Well, I'm, I'm really having trouble focusing my mouse here. I am rather inebriated, but it's fine. We're, we're all fine here, right? Okay. I did pick up Far Cry 6. That's rather fun to play. Diesel fuel. Uh, what's our diesel situation? Auto saving. Again. I apologize for the random... Eh, we're fine. We're only down like 10 liters. I got plenty of paint in case I decide I want to paint something. What are you? Oh, more oil that I don't need right now. I don't know. It's these places kind of, um... What is that? I like that I can pick up the bike. Get over there, you're in my way. Crotch run. Cool and empty. What is this? I don't know what you are. Oh, you're a headlight. Okay. I was like, what is that? Anything else so useful? Oh, we got another tire. Well, oh, that's a nice one. You know, I could probably smash up an engine on this really quick on this car and make it work. Yeah, look at that. 
I'll just throw that in there. I mean, all I need is some water, and I have water on the bus. Oh yeah, like my batting ram trash, bunch of rifle, the air rifles. I mean, all I that's a that's a <laughs> that is a bus radiator. Car ain't never gonna overheat. All right, so. Let's get going. We did what we needed to do here. I just saw something fall down over there, but oh well. That's a rock or something. Let's let's drive. Let's let's get hit the road. Slightly uphill because I'm only going 60 kilometers per hour. That's fine. Let's go to the next spot. I like how I got little Minecraft thing hanging off my mirror. I got I got uh, some trees. I got a weird looking guy there. Recenter review. It's been a hot minute since I've, it's been like, geez, almost two months since I played this. Oh, that's gonna hurt. No, oh, it didn't. Yay. I didn't forget about this game. I just got busy with life and stuff. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. My camera. Right. Let's avoid that rock that the road construction worker says. Oh, that's a that's a that's a ship. It's probably good for some loot, fuel mostly. Oh yeah, I got a spare. Um, why do I have that? I got a spare radiator because apparently I yeeted my radiator off when I wrecked my bus not terribly long ago. So I said, hey, you know what, I should probably get a spare radiator just for giggles. I got a spare engine compartment cover because that's important. And I guess there's an achievement for carrying all the, um, all, all, like, you're supposed to collect so many inflatable giraffes when you get to the end, I guess. I don't know. There's a rumor going around that there's an achievement for that, so when I see them, I collect them. Just toss them in a the bin and they stay put forever. They don't weigh much anything. You're a rock over to the right. I don't care. I listen to the radio, but... Uh, oh yeah, I got bullets for my revolver that I never use. Because I'm playing peaceful, the rabbits don't do anything. They don't affect me. They don't... They just... They're just kind of there. As far as I know, you can't harvest them from meat or anything. I don't know, maybe that's coming. Maybe that's a feature. You can go hunting. I mean, rabbit stew is a thing. Rabbit meat is a thing. That's a tree right there. Yeah, it's a tree to the left. Don't care. So yeah, desert bus with upgrades. You can get out of your bus, walk around without killing your game. Oh, that's a building over there. What are you? Oh, your ship. Okay, see if the rope takes me that way. It doesn't. I don't know if it does or not. My check engine light's gonna come on because I guess this bus isn't perfectly happy with everything. Yep. But as soon as you get on the gas, just a teeny bit, it's like, yep, we're cool. It's it's wonky. I don't know slightly downhill. Do I want to check that ship out? I mean, it's not like I don't have a ton of fuel in the back there anyway. I got I got a metric butt ton of fuel right now. I mean, it's right there, but it's kind of downhill and it's kind of off-road. You know, let's do it. Bad decisions were made while drunk. It's fine. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I got spare I got spare bike tires because those are important, I guess. Only one of 
stuff just festooned over my bus just haphazardly because that's as you do. Let's check out this ship. Apparently there's a way to get up there if you're able to do some jump action shenanigans to get up there, but I ain't that skilled. I never really did learn how to bunny hop and Counter-Strike. I know that's kind of a thing you gotta do to, to play the game right, but uh... Alright, how do I shut my engine off? I forget... I forget how to turn my engine off. Oh my gosh, I forget how to do everything in this game. I forgot. I forgot how to turn my engine off. Why? Oh my gosh. Really? There's supposed to be a way to uh, show controls. Oh, there it is. I found it. Ignition. I... I knew there was a way to figure it out. Alright, let's see what we got in this tanker. Can I walk under this? Auto saving. Nope. Oh, uh, what do we got? I can barely see the tanks at all. Alcohol. That's a whole bunch of booze. Gas oil. That's trash. That's empty. I don't like it when the grass is in here. It's really hard to see the tanks. Oil, I don't. I have plenty of that. Gas and oil, that's kind of a rich mixture for a uh, Trabant. See, that's basically the right mixture for getting a Trabant to run. Any sort of two-stroke engine. That's, that's a nice mixture right there. It's like 40 to 1 or something. Or if you're doing an old car uh, revival. That's way too rich. What do we got here? Oh, diesel. Guess what? You're coming with me, pal. Well, let's just put you down for now. No, I said put you down for now. Let's put you... There you go. That means I looked at you and you're useful. That's the system I'm kind of going with. Oil. Gas and oil is too rich for two-stroke. Empty. Empty. What are you? A lot of oil. I mean, really, you think oil is kind of a precursor for other stuff, unless it's, and, you know, if it's crude. God, lots of oil. Holy shit. Oil coming out of my ears. I don't know, did I check these at all? I probably didn't check this guy. Nope. Alright, let's get the auto saving. I should probably change how often the game auto saves. Well, where'd you go? Where'd that? Where'd that? Oh my gosh. Stupid. I lost my barrel. It was over here. There you are. Oh, you're coming with me, pal. There we go. I can either make it not show up. I like how the shadow updates based on what you're doing. I like these better when they're in the desert. Really, I do. Alright, so let's check the front end. Back end of the ship? Oh, hey. Another one. We're gonna... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's put you by the entrance way. That one's not less heavy, so I don't have to struggle so much to carry it. Alright, what do we got here? Anything? Anything? Empty. Sadness. Got this weird white spot here on the wall. Don't see many barrels. Empty. 
We'll go on the right side here, the starboard side. That's way too rich for a Trabant, which I have driven in this game. It's actually not too bad. It's kind of underpowered, but it'll get you there. Beggars can't be choosers. What do you all call a frat party just waiting to happen? That's a butt ton of fucking booze. Well, this video is not going to get monetized, but I don't monetize my stuff anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, let's put the flashlight away. That magically never runs out of batteries. Yeah, see? Yeah, and then we just go like that. Alright. So I've got the empty jerry cans here. Oh, heck yeah, I do. I shouldn't have to open that that barrel at all. I should just pour in. Yeah, see? Perfect. More diesel fuel than I know what to do with. Alright, so that barrel is empty. And we got this mamma jamma right here, which is significantly fuller, which is why I'm struggling to carry it. Let's do something about that. Perfect! Alright, we'll have a jerry can full of fuel. I can't remember why they called them jerry cans. There's a reason behind that, and I cannot remember what it is. Diesel. Well, guess what? You're getting filled up. This is... Oh, and you see the cans off to the left there through the doors? They're just chock full of diesel fuel. Do I need all this fuel? I don't know. I think I have enough to fill this gas tank completely from dry. Let's go find out if I have any, uh, somebody just banging themselves off into whatever. Your water, I got some bacon, I got some more oil, I got some gas, got some oil, I got plenty of oil. I don't know why, uh, yeah, I got enough gas to fill up a Trabant with oil in the mix. I just put you down there. Uh, we'll go ahead. Oh, I'm not gonna shut you yet. Let's find out. Oh, yeah. Fill you up some. I know you can fill your gas tank up from inside the bus. It's kind of why I have all these uh, containers. I mean, 80 liters, that's only like 20 gallons. These are 55 gallon drums, so like over half the capacity of these drums is not being utilized. Kind of strange, but it's, it's whatever. Alright, let's check. Oh yeah, we can finish you up. Get you out of the way. Perfect. Just more diesel. Just gotta have more diesel. Alright, eh, it's nighttime already. This day night cycle is kinda weird. Ah, oh, can I get up here? All right, here we go. Perfect. All right, cool. Oh, where are the lights at? Oh, they were over that way. All right, cool. That's a rock. Sun setting. Let's get to the road. 
And then I'll sleep. Oh, I see the lights come on now. Keep the lights to the right, and everything is gonna be fine. Anywho, yeah, so fun game. I'm looking forward to see what the update brings whenever that happens. And I guess in the meantime, it's just chilling around, having fun with it. Other games besides Far Cry 6, you know, I still play B Man G Drive here and there. I still play Fallout pretty regularly. I also play a lot of Space Engineers. Some of my videos have been about that. Oh, we're going kind of fast now, but it's alright. Let's, uh. Get wood up here. And we're just gonna sleep here on the road because it's not like we gotta worry about traffic, so. Well, I'm gonna sleep. Perfect. Alright. Oh, what are you? You are a bridge building. I don't know if the road's going to take you out that way or not. I don't know if it's going to... Nope, it's not going to do it. Looking at binoculars while driving a bus. There's nothing wrong about that picture. So it's a little after 5 in the morning. Oh, this is a bunker house. Usually you don't have a lot of junk in it, but, uh, oh, okay, cool. I like that. We'll check that out. Well, I'll leave the lights on because battery's never auto saving. Batteries never run out. Okay, so zip. Well, what in tarnation is all this? Can we can we just shovel you? Oh, what are you? Oh, you're a, you're a, a bucket. You're a container. I like you. We can actually see you with all the grass in the way. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and we can stack you up up here, yeah, and then we can stack you up up there. I don't know why, were they trying to like barricade themselves in or something? Barricade something out, killer rabbits. Get some lights on the subject here. Oh, I wonder if I can scrub that radiator of mine. Hey, guess what, radiator? We're gonna try... I think I need to use a scrubby on it. Scrub, uh, thing first. See, I don't know if repairing of parts is a thing or not. It doesn't appear to be. It does not appear to be a thing. Well, that's a bummer. Alright, physics kicked in. You're good to go. Her physics decided not to kick in. Alright, what's in here? Oh, we got a TV. We got water. Not a whole lot in it, but it's fine. Autosave. I should change the autosave currency. Got a bunch of human excrement here. It looks really healthy there, guys. Anything up here? I got some pallets, and I got a um, sun visor. And that's about it. Well, oh yeah, let's, we're going to stick you on here. 
We're gonna bolt you on. Oh yeah, I got the fly squatter for some reason. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, shut the door. Gotta keep the flies in, you know. Thirty-five minutes in. What are you? Is there another building? Oh, it's grass. Never mind. The problem with carrying all this extra gear on the bus is it slows it down. Plus, the bus transmission is kind of not great for hauling stuff. I mean, the engine makes a butt ton of torque, but the bus is kind of heavy. I've ranted about this before. The bus, the, the truck was way cooler for getting up hills and junk because it had, the transmission was better on it. He had a lower gear range and all that other fun stuff. Iskander Whiskey 50, I think, was the truck. And I was looking stuff up about the game. Because everything in this game, except for that one American car, is from Eastern Europe. Yeah, Hungary, I think, is where this game comes from. There's a radio station that's all in Hungary, and I'm like, holy cow, I haven't the faintest idea what this dude's saying. <laughs> it's fine, though. His English is really good. One of the benefits of um, European education systems is that they teach languages pretty much mandatory. Here in the States, it's basically electives. There's, oh, I know English. I don't need to do anything else. Just kind of, you know, American centric and all that. You can take an elective if you want. Tried doing Spanish. My teacher actually said I had a nice accent. Kind of a formal, high cultured accent, which is kind of neat coming from him. But uh, I skipped class a bunch and then I ended up not doing very well in it, and that's basically how I ended up not doing very well in Spanish at the end of it. So I really never learned how to subjugate verbs in Spanish, which I guess is like the most important thing of Spanish is how to subjugate verbs. The tense, the form of the word changes based on how it's being applied. And if you pronounce it wrong, it changes the meaning of the verb form. So it's like, okay. And I never tried figuring that out. I was like, nope, I'll take the path of each resistance and just goof off with my friends and skip class. Yeah, I was an idiot in high school, but I know what I'm missing. It's like, okay. I just ran over a rock. And it didn't do nothing on my bus. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, it's just basically fine. That is a water tower, which if I was hurting for water, I would totally visit. That's something over there. I don't know what it is, but we're going to find out. I think the bus only has like, oh yeah, you're, you're something cool. We'll get there. Well, I'll check you out. So if we were playing, if this was the movie Speed, I'd have to maintain a speed of, well, I think, what, 50 miles an hour? I think it's like 80 kilometers per hour. I mean, there's been times I've been having to do switchbacks off-roading because this bus can't even go up a hill. But it's a European bus. Maybe American buses are just better that way. I don't know. Yeah, I was rolling downhill. I was, you know, having a great time blasting through whatever. And I tumbled and rolled the bus, and the radiator decided, I'm going to go yeet myself off over here. I lost some engine panels, and then I didn't even notice the bus didn't have the radiator until I noticed my temperature gauge was flipping out. I was like, oh, that's not cool. 
I have problems now. Oh, you're just a little gas station with a well. Well, we'll check you out. Let's see what you got. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe there's some cool stuff here. Maybe it's a bunch of nothing. I'm wasting my time. Oh, I got a rubber wife. Here's that water tower. Auto saving again. Alright, perfect. Gas, I don't need any of you. Don't need a bumper. Oil, I don't need any of you. What are you? Oh, you're a radio. I guess I'm uh, full. I don't need to eat anything because, oh yeah. If I fall through that, it's bad news bears for everybody. So let's not do that. Oh, right here too. Let's not do that. That'd be bad. Game glitch. That tire looks like shit. Alright, so... I gotta make room for that sausage I just, I just ate. Yep, see, I just made a present. Mark on my turf. Alright, perfect. Let's not step on a dookie I just made. Mm. <coughs> oh yeah, gotta have the scream talk about. Because, yeah, life here sucks and, uh, yeah. Might as well scream a little while L out. It defaults to humming, that's that weird buzzing sound. I had no idea what that was for a while. Until I looked at the wiki, I was like, oh, okay. So we're gonna go another 18 minutes and cha or so. We're gonna hit an hour on this video. Kinda wish you knew my tires are like chirping and stuff, but it's, I guess it's whatever. Just gonna keep going. <laughs> this game is fun, if I haven't mentioned it already. It's, I mean, it's super basic. It's based, but it's... It's, uh... Sometimes games don't have to be super duper complicated with like super ultra realistic crafting systems and whatever else to be fun. They can be basic like this. I think the game's less, like, totally less than a gig. I gotta think how big it is. It's significantly less than a gigabyte. Oh, going up to, and for what it is, I mean, it's. I mean, it, I, it's got a lot of emergent gameplay potential going on here. I think Let's Game It Out, they did a video on it, and they had fun trying to make something to catch UFOs, which I'm trying to remember how the video went because I watched it, and I don't think it went very well. But uh, they had the right idea. I was like, hey, I'll just use the physics engine of like bolting stuff onto a car, and we're going to have fun trying to catch a UFO. I know there's a right way once you have UFO stationary, you can take over if you get into it. So his whole goal was to try to do that. It was pretty fun. I try to play my games more or less, you know, straight, legit, whatever, you know, serious. I don't try to go into game bake breaking bugs or nothing and cheese stuff. Um of course, that's where the real magic is, is figuring out how to cheese a mission and, you know, like exploit physics and whatnot to get it to work and exploit, you know, errors in the game and whatnot to get it to be a little easier for you. I know there's the Kerbal Space Crew program. They had a bunch of bugs in it. They had, um, 
Infiniglider bug for a while, which they got rid of, unfortunately. Then there was air hogging, that was a thing, which was we could make an up. Uh, there was a YouTuber, uh, Tanuki Chow, she would do uh, streams every so often. And one of the things she liked to do was called an upgoer. You know, you know, shout out to XKCD and all that, an upgoer 5. So she would air hog the bulk of the first stage. So you can get as basically as high up as you can get and as far you know, forward velocity, lateral velocity as you can get off just air engines. Air breathers. And then you had the midget little oh what is it four eight four S four eight seven S or something. I kinda of think of the designation for this little itty bitty engine. But you could totally go to the moon, land, take off, come back. And the rocket that you used to get you there and back was stupid tiny because the game engine allowed you to do it. And then they nerfed the 487S engine. That's what it was. So it wasn't quite as capable. I mean, it doesn't have an alternator, so you're like hurting for electrical power the entire time, but that's fine. So yeah, there's there's ways to so that was the one thing I learned how to cheese was how to make an upgoer, an air breather in KSB. You know, basically it's a, a two stage space plane that you discard this the plane portion and then you just do space. It was fun. I had a lot of fun with that one. But normally I play my games fairly straight. Fairly normal, humdrum, boring. I mean, look what I'm doing now. I'm just driving. I'm not trying to glitch physics. I'm not trying to hack game. I'm not trying to, you know, exploit bugs for fun and profit. I'm just, I'm just driving, you know. So yeah, that's, that's kind of how I approach games. Almost like an extension of real life, I guess. What's over there? That's uh, a water tower of some sort. But we're not going to go there, apparently. We're going to keep going, basically, to slightly to the left. That's 820, and the sun's totally gone. I know what I could do is I could go look at my... So I've driven... I've, I've had this bus with gauges for 767 kilometers. I had it without gauges for a while before that. I can't remember how long it was because it, it didn't tell me. But I, I've had it for some time basically, you know, fully kitted out like this for 700-something kilometers. Well, that was a weird noise. What was that? Oh, it's that word cat noise. Sounds like a, um, those little, like, trombone looking, like, I don't know. I, it's the little tubes, right? You invert them and it goes, and you turn it over again, it goes, it's that sound, and it's, they call it the cat sound. I'm like, it doesn't sound anything like a cat. They're just saying, guys. I mean, it's not that I have a cat to compare it with, but I used to have a cat. It went with the ex-wife when we divorced. And he lived a long, full life, and... Uh, did he die of old age? I can't remember now. I loved and hated that cat at the same time, if that's understandable at all. Oh, it was nice having a cat around. Until he wanted to check gravity all the time. Oh, we're going to lose. Yep. We are going to get probed. Yep, you see that coming? Yep, we're just going to keep going there, guys. They don't really hurt you or nothing. There's a mod. I can't even see nothing. Okay, compass finally recovered. At least I'm on the road. Alright, so we should be uh, getting back there. There's a mod that adds angry aliens. 
And what they do is they will abduct you if you're close enough to them. I mean, they kind of stay on the road, I guess, is what I'm hearing about. So that's, you know, fun. So they already eated themselves off over that way. They, they, well, they get slower as they get closer to you, and then they say, Oh, what are you? You're a bus stop. Let's check out this bus stop. This might be a good time to close the video. Oh, there's really nothing here. Oh, well, let's find out what we got. <laughs> Stupid battery ram. Autosave. What have we got? Pack of smokes? Yeah, it's a pack of smokes. What do we got? Trash can full of nothing. Oh. We got a lamp. I mean, sure. I don't think it does anything in game, but uh, I can I can drop that in here. Alternative light source, basically. No outhouse out here? Nope. <clears throat> Alright. I think that's a great time to call it a night. <coughs> In game, as this moon goes down. And I guess I'll catch you all later. And you'll have a good day. I'll catch you some other time.